If you are a developer, you would have definitely written a logging statement anywhere inside your code base throughout your career. In this particular video, we are going to see what is the SL4J, Log4J and Logback doing in the logging framework. Let's get started. Before getting into the implementation of what is SL4J, what is Log4J and what is Logback, let me write a small logging statement and then I'll show you what the differences are between these frameworks. So in general, I'm going to use log uh, SL4J. So what I do is in general, we say that, okay, we are using SL4J, but we are not really using SL4J because SL4J is just an abstraction which is provided for us. So I'm going to use the um, SL4J logger interface. There are lots of other logger classes. If you see java.util.logging is another logging framework, which is provided by Java. And then there is something called log4j provided by Apache. There is something called logback as well, right? So I'm going to use the uh, SL4J implementation here directly. Okay. And what we do is we use the logger factory, right? We directly use a logger factory and then we say, get me the logger which is configured in this particular project so this particular piece of code identifies what type of logging is in this particular project and it get gets that particular logging implementation so basically there is no implementation provided by sl4j but sl4j is providing the abstraction layer with the interfaces we can use those interfaces to write our logging so here the class name is resource so i'm just going to say resource.class right and I'm going to log this particular uh, statement here. I'll just say logger.info. I'm just going to do an info statement. Um, I'm just saying going to find all. It's going to find all, right? So I'm just saying going to find all. If you notice here, if I go inside this info, this info is nothing but an interface, right? The logger is an interface. The info is a method here. And SL4J, if you see, there is no implementation right now, okay? So if I click on this option, it is going to show me what are the different implementations which are available in this particular project. So if you notice here, the implementation which is available here is logback. Okay. So basically this particular Spring Boot project, whichever I uh, am showing here is using logback as a default implementation for SL4J. So I'm going inside and I'm adding a debug statement here. So if this particular implementation is hit, this is going to hit this particular debug statement. So I'm going to run a test. I have a unit test. I'm just going to run this particular unit test uh, in the debug mode so that we know if it is getting hit. So initially I'll just put a breakpoint here so that we know it is coming here as well, right? So that I can show you what is SL4J and what is log back, right? So SL4J is nothing but the interfaces, okay, which are provided for creating your own implementation. And in this particular project, we are using log back as an implementation for SL4J, right? If you want to write your custom implementation for any command inside a SL4J, you can do that. So that is the basic idea of SL4J where you use SL4J directly and you don't have to change everywhere in your code. You use the logger factory, which is coming from SL4J and inside the logger factory, the logger factory will be able to identify what implementation is provided in this particular code base, right? So here I'm using logger.info. So it goes to this interface. So now the statement has break um, has come here, right? Let me resume this particular statement. Okay. If you notice here, it has now reached the debug point where we have added it for the logback class. So if you notice here, this is the logback class. So logger.info has reached here. So basically the logging implementation of logback has been triggered, right? In this particular example so you can notice that in the console uh, my log has got printed if you see here going to find all this log has got printed so the implementation which it is using here is log back right if let's say you want to use log 4g right what do you do so you can use directly the log 4g library so instead of this particular uh, class right, what do we do we use uh, the log 4j's logger right so you just say logger and instead of selecting the sl4j we go and select the log4j right i'll just remove this particular 
import here so we can directly select the logger right i am going to give the same name so instead of the logger factory what do we do is we use the log4j.getlogger right to do the resource.class right and if i click on the debug option right this is going to go to the info method of the log4j implementation so if you see here this is the log4j implementation i'll just put a breakpoint anyway it's going to come because we know that the class itself is completely different it is not sl4j or um, the log back it is directly going to the log4j if you notice here it has directly come to the log4j so log4j is one of the implementation of a logging framework however if you notice here it is not supporting sl4j directly right i'm not using sl4j here right i'm directly using log4j only so logback has direct support to the sl4j so logback is directly um, implemented from the sl4j however log4j is not if you want to uh, have the sl4j library supported you will have to use sl4j or um, log4j dependency right but if you notice here log4j by default doesn't have support to sl4j you have to use a, dip a different jar to do that so this is the difference between what is sl4j what is log4j and what is logback so logback and log4j are different implementations of logging framework sl4j is an abstraction which can be useful when you want to have a class which is using all sl4j's and you want to have the different implementation um, in your project so you don't have to come to every line and change your code instead you just change it at a, a single place right so logback has direct support to sl4j so it is uh, direct implementation of sl4j log4j even supports it but still um, if you notice here if you can see log4j has dependencies to sl4j internally in the um, uh, this is nothing but logback so if i go to this right so it has dependencies to the sl4j but if you see here it has internal usage of sl4j but it doesn't use that directly so if you notice we used log4j and we did a info internally it is using log4j directly however from the outside it it felt like okay you can't use it right so that is the difference between uh, sl4j and log4j and the uh, logback frameworks which are there so both as log4j and logbacks are implementation of sl4j they are internally using sl4j but logback has a slightly flexible approach when it comes to implementation of sl4j right so it doesn't matter which framework you are using you should know um, how you are using it and um, uh, what they are okay logback is the latest version logback has additional features for sl4 uh, the log4j so uh, if somebody says which logging framework you are using you should just mention whether you are using log4j or logback not the sl4j because sl4j is just the abstraction layer which is providing just the interfaces or the abstract classes right so that's what I wanted to cover as a part of this particular video. Hope you guys uh, understood what is log4j, what is sl4j and what is logback. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.